the Joe Rogan experience. That was a phenomenal performance in Brazil against Glover Teixeira in his hometown. Last minute, like, I mean, how much time did you have to prep for that? Uh, I had about six weeks. Oh, you did have six weeks. Yeah, I had six weeks. But it was, well, pretty, la- but you knew that it was a three. It was supposed to be three rounds, and then they changed it to the title for five rounds, right? No, no. It was, so it they, was, they it was a title. Right oh, that was right after Ankalaev and right, Jan Bohovic. So right, right like from they there, they legitimately called me while they were still. Wow. Yeah, while they were still in the cage. If you wanted a full camp for a five round fight though, what would you what would you prefer? Like how much time do you really need? Uh I prefer maybe about like eight weeks. Eight to about eight to ten weeks. So it was slightly abbreviated, but your p- performance was phenomenal, man. I mean it was it was amazing. To Thank see you me. pick apart Glover like that and to do so well on the ground too. I mean, that that was a big victory. Yeah, I mean a lot of people thought that I couldn't do it. I, couldn't, I don't know. I couldn't. Well, that was just a general assumption was that I couldn't I couldn't grapple on the ground and things like that when that's definitely. But you getting that case. general assumption from who, though? People online? Just uh, picks. Like, you know what I mean? Just like people oh. like, that, like like an analyst. Then like any like the fighters or whatever that I talk to, like they, they were like, oh, like they always say it's always something that they say. Even guys in the division, you know, they were like, oh, he's just a boxer. You know, I don't know if he can really wrestle or if he can really has like kicks or anything like that. Yeah, they're questioning the kicks too. You know, so this is that's some of the biggest funny. moments in the fight. That left high yeah. kick of yours. Yeah. Well, Pretty people much. are gonna question you until they can't anymore. Right. That's how it goes. You know, there's always ah, right. oh, I don't know about this guy, and then all of a sudden he's the best ever. You you never know. Right. And that's why I'm that's why I'm just hungry for you know what I mean for names, man. I'm hungry for the next challenge. What did it feel like when they strapped that thing around your waist? Man, this is it's a hard thing to describe. It was just like, like, almost like unreal, like almost like living, like almost like like in a dream, like yeah. one of the dreams that I've had, you know. And it was just like I don't know, it was just crazy. Just the weight of everything that I did and been through and everything it was just it was a lot. Yeah, it seemed like a lot. It's a lot for everybody. I mean, that's a moment that very few human beings will ever achieve. There, there's, there's it right now. Yeah, that was he, like that's when he told me he was about to retire. I mean, it's was, amazing how long that dude has hung in there. He yeah. was the boogeyman for six years. You know, for six years Glover lived in Brazil yeah. and he couldn't get a visa. And this was like in the early days, like when Chuck Liddell was the UFC light heavyweight champion. That's how far back Glover goes. Right. I heard something about like he went he went pro in two thousand and one. Yeah. Think. Crazy, right? Crazy. Yeah, that's wild. 22 years later. And then. Still fighting for the world still, championship. And, you know, having that fight with Yura Prohaska where he lost the title, I mean, that was a crazy close fight. Yeah. Until he got caught in that choke. He was ahead. I think he was. Yeah, he was ahead yeah. in that fight. Yeah, I believe he was. That video that you made <laughs> to Yuri was hilarious. We played it on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, man. You can't, you can't let it slide. That's man. what she said. <laughs> That was the first thing that came in my head whenever he said it. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> now from now I can't like, bro, it's, it's, he's ruined the he's ruined the phrase for me now because now I can't say it at all. No matter what somebody called me and be like, Oh, I'm coming. Like, I'm coming. <laughs> like just He's an odd duck. Yeah. That dude's an odd duck. He's strange. He's yeah. very, very different. Do you see, yeah. like, when he was fighting Glover and Glover was beating him up, he was like, good job, good job. Yeah, like, tapping him on it. I yeah. thought it was like, well, you can't do that, man. It looks right. like you're tapping. It looks like you're tapping. Like, what are you doing? He's like, good job, good job. Mm-hmm. He's, but he's saying good job. And I, I think, it was was it Mark Goddard who was the referee? I think it was Mark Goddard. Whoever it was was warning him. It's like, hey, don't fucking slap him and say good job. You can't do that. Just right. what a weird thing to do. Guys on top of you, rain and blows down. You're like, good job, good right. job. Like, Yeah, bro, I don't, I don't know. The only thing I can think would be possibly it could be like just like a, a tactic to try to make it seem like all like no matter what, you're wasting your time. Right. Type thing. Like, yeah. You know, try to like get in their head because I think even like with the whole samurai thing, like he wants to play, he obviously wants to wants to this image to be believe, be believed of and yeah. things like that. But, you know, I just seen him when I was at the PI a couple of days ago and he was he's a nice dude, you know, he he walked up, he's like, Nice to meet you, things like that. And then like I uh came back the next day, I was going into PT and he was working. He's like he's like I'm 
I'm working on it. You know what I mean, I'm working, trying to get back. I'm like, take your time, do your thing. I he's already had the shoulder thing. surgery, right? Uh, I don't know. I would assume if he's already trying to rehab. Yeah, it. I'm sure he has because apparently his shoulder was the worst shoulder they had ever seen. The UFC yeah. doctors had never seen a shoulder that fucked up before. Do you know what happened to him? No. His shoulder went out of socket in training camp, and they tried to put, put it back in. Oh, yeah. And these right. dudes are yanking on it. These just gym dudes yanking on it, and they fucked it up way worse. Yeah, that's never a good idea. <laughs> yeah, go to a fucking man. doctor, man. Right. You're, you're a world champion. World champion. And he had to give up his title like that. Well, it's interesting that he did decide to give up his title. He could have held on to yeah. it, and they could have had an interim title, and you could be fighting him for the undisputed title. But instead, he's like, nope, I'm going to give up my title. That's why I said, well, he's an odd dude. Yeah, that's strange, because that's not only like a... Like I don't think that's not only like like not only like a bad move legacy wise. That's a bad business move. Yeah. Because now in your next fight you fight as a challenger. Yeah. You, know, you don't get the you don't get the same pay per view buys. You don't you know what I mean you don't get the same amount of money or none of that. So. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah. it, I could imagine the thought process behind it. Like you want to be right. noble, but uh, you gotta take care but of I your money, that, bro. You gotta take care of your money. I mean, how many right. world title fights you get? If you're lucky, if yeah. you everything goes perfect, and he should know now, especially being injured, like, hey, this could happen, and you could get a catastrophic injury, and who, you could be out for a year or so. You never know. I think it was a play of him trying to be noble. Mm. Just trying to be noble, trying to, like, you know, oh, he does the right thing, where he respects the warrior. And I like how like you're that. thinking about it, like 3D chess. Like, what yeah. is this motherfucker doing for real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to tell you, man, I think a lot of what he does is meant to put a certain image in your head. Mm. You know, so I'm sure. I mean, it makes sense. It would be smart to do. I mean, he's got a weird image. He's out there throwing kicks at trees. Right. You know, he's like wraps a tree up in a foam pad and starts punching it and kicking it, like yelling in the woods. Yeah, like okay, man. You know, gyms are better. Gyms right. are definitely better than a tree. I, I want to know what it is about being in the woods that just makes him want to yell. <laughs> like, what is it? Are you upset with the trees? <laughs> do you just feel alone? It's like some. Do you want to be heard? I mean, these are all questions. You know. Do you want to be heard? Right, right. right. Yeah. I mean, do you, is it? Does it make you more, more uh, noble or sophisticated to be in the woods? I don't know. Man. What is it? Remember when Rocky was training for for Drago and Rocky Four? He went to the oh. woods, running in the snow, carrying logs and shit. I think, uh, matter of fact, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, it makes me feel weird just even saying it out in the I'm coming video. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I don't know another That's way to say it. That's what she said. Here it is. But this is crazy. I think it, Where you at, though? This is the video. By the way, that's what she said. That's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> well, in the one that he did, though, it's like an act. In a in a uh, in a tree stump in the background. Yeah. Did you notice that? No, I didn't notice that. Yeah, bro. So I, I don't. Bro. He's probably out there chopping, chopping wood. Chopping wood. Yeah. I don't know. Look at him. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> it is fucking but weird. It's man. like. Oh wait. So I guess I wasn't an axe. Yeah. I might have been high when I said it. it Could have just been that post right there. Yeah, I don't see an axe. He's a strange cat, man. That's a strange cat. Bro, that was just like, yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, coming. Did you think he's next? Have they had any conversations with you about who who's going to be your first title defense uh, as the champion of the fucking world? Woo! Sounds good, Joe. Sounds good, sounds right? Real fucking good. And dude. you earned the fuck out of that too. Yeah, man. It was uh, yeah, bro. Glover was Glover was tough, man. Oh, he's so tough. Like, like y'all said that, right? I think we need to put a little bit more emphasis on it because, like, it's not just that he's tough. He's tough. He's tough, and while he's being tough, he's still fighting intelligently. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, for for not one second did I hit him with something and it was like oh shit I was like oh I don't want to get hit with whatever's next right. cover up like you know what I mean like that that mm -hmm. that one like oh I need to I need to find like protection type right. he never did that mm. you know and that was just like crazy cause it was one sequence like I think it was like in the third where I hit him with right hand right hand 
elbow, left hand. Mm -hmm. It's like at no point was he like, oh, shit, I need to cover up right. or anything because, like, I mean, I finish you at that point. Right. But it's like, bro. That was in the ground and pound sequence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're on top yeah. of him. That was so close. A lot of referees would have stopped it. A lot of referees yeah. would have stopped it there. I mean, you were dropping bombs on him, but, yeah, he kept moving. Kept moving. He kept, kept trying to win. He, kicked, no me in the, he kicked me in the face. <laughs> From the bottom? Yeah, he grabbed my arm and pulled me like he's going to try to pull me in his guard. And then when I went in, as soon as I like, so obviously to not go in, you got to sit up. I sat up. He kicked me in the face. Mm. Yeah. He's a crafty fella. Yeah, man. I think his time with uh, Alex Pajera really improved him, too, towards the very end of his career when he started training with LX because the, like there's something about like having that dude in camp with him and he's on the run for the middleweight title that it all like came together and you know this some of his last fights were some of his best the Jan Bohovic fight mm -hmm. you know i mean uh Yuri, the Yuri Prohaska fight like there was fucking great fights man yeah he um he's harder to hit he's harder to hit clean than i thought cuz he turns his face a little rolls with yeah, stuff yeah yeah a little a little bit of that but it's like it's his hands, right? So he definitely learns from from the people that he fights because he was definitely doing a little John Jones to me, you know, the little like gonna mm -hmm. kind of kind of poke kind of poke his hands out. And you watch it a couple times, where I, like I wanted to follow up with some shots with some combos, but the way he was like blocking, he's like going like this or like putting his elbow up like this, mm -hmm. kind of like poking his fingers, like jibbing his fingers like towards my like face. So yeah, that's yeah. a weird gray area, right? The, yeah. The you know, because John poked a lot of people in the eyes. Yeah. You know, I'm sure he didn't mean to do it, but that style of doing mm -hmm. it like that, of having the hands out, especially when you're as long as John, it's a, you know, it's a very, tri it's it's a very gray area. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah, no, you're not supposed to do it, but it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done quite a bit. You yeah. know, I mean? especially like if whenever you see somebody get hit with something like. Mm -hmm. Solid, and they start to like kind of get crowded, and they want to get some space, or they want to try to really keep you from coming for it. That's the first thing they do. Yeah, what could be done about that though? The eye pokes. The only thing that I think is a change of the gloves. They have to figure out something to make a better glove that doesn't encourage your hands to be open. You know, I mean, we've talked about this before, but Trevor Whitman, um, you know, uh, Gaethje's trainer. He's got a way better glove. He 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 makes his own material, Onyx. He, he makes his own gloves and shin pads, yeah. and they're fucking top notch. But he made a better glove, and I don't know why the UFC is not using it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they have to get it approved by the commissions. I don't know what the deal is, but it's a far superior glove. Does it affect the grappling? Yeah, like no, no, it doesn't. But it, it it keeps your hand curved. Like the natural state of it is to have your hand in a curved position yeah. versus open. With the UFC gloves. You, you put those on, your hand wants to be open, and you have to kind of close it and mm. tighten it down. With with his gloves, it starts out in a folded position. Like, it's much easier. So even if you were, like, extending your hand, you would extend it like what you would if you had a tie glove, a boxing glove on. Right. You know? I just think there's got to be something. There's so many fucking eye pokes. I mean, you guys both poked each other in yeah. that fight accidentally. The only difference is when I poked him in the eye, it helped him. All right, cause I cause that knee, that knee I caught him with right in the sternum, right before that. If if I actually am able to put the frame on him like I want to, he's eating a head kick. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah. so yeah, saving well, me whenever I poke, whenever he poked me in the eye though, I was on his ass. Uh -huh. I was on his ass. <laughs> I think I just landed like uppercut. Yeah, I just landed like an uppercut. I was right after the little weave, the little weave sequence there. Smooth. How many was, times you watched it? Song. How many times you watched it? I watched it a few times. I watched <laughs> it a few times. It was this. Uh, it, was, it was this one little sequence in the beginning, at the beginning at the well, towards the end of the the first round. Where it was just, I remember it happening in the fight, but I wanted to see how it looked on camera, and it was, it was all right. Pretty was smooth. All right. It was all right. Oh, listen, it's a, it was a very good performance. It, it was very. You were very crafty. That was the the thing about the fight that I really enjoyed is like watching your setups and all your feints and luring them in and the way you're moving in and out. Like it was very, because I had seen all that in other fights, but um, with all the stakes on the line in Brazil, fighting for the title, and I think you were at your best. I really do. Yeah, hey, man, I, I rise to the occasion. I really lock in. Like you know, I understand. I understand the situation. I understand the moment, so that's why I work so hard to get to it. And then I trust the work that I put in. 
Mm. You know, so at that point, it's just, all right, do what you do every day.